So this is me, full front brake. That's me as like, hard as I can pull it. That was a bit scary. Welcome back to Budget vs. Baller, the series where we take two used mountain bikes and systematically upgrade them. I get the baller parts, Henry gets the budget bits. I've, I've been called budget bits before, actually. <laughs> well, and it's fitting. <laughs> Today is all about brakes. And as you know, Henry, to speed up, you must first slow down. Well, somebody's been reading The Art of War. Yeah, no, actually, actually I have been reading The Art of War. <laughs> <laughs> However, as you know, to brake later, harder, mm. and actually speed up in race runs, you do need better brakes. Do you agree? I mean, you could be onto something. As a habitual brake dragger, maybe powerful brakes is the last thing I need. Well, we're gonna see because today I have an $850 set of Magura brakes and you have, uh, I think about 120-ish dollar set of something. And they look like every one of those $120-ish dollars. They are, hmm. Well, let's see just how they <laughs> perform. We have some bikes. Yeah. We have some internal cable routing, something you've publicly gone on record saying you love. Yeah. And some cameras. How do you think you're gonna fare? Well, it's gonna go smoothly. There's gonna be no swearing. It is just going to be exactly as it should be, an absolute doddle. All right, I'm going to hold you to that. Let's install the brakes before going to a very special location to test them out. I'm not really happy, Jason. <laughs> Why not? You're getting new brakes. They might not be the brakes you wanted. I'm not even sure these are long enough. Oh, it's going to be tight. So I'm going to be honest with you, Internet, I've never worked on a set of my gear brakes. So this is a first. However, I did watch a video on how to bleed them before this, so we should be good. Henry, did you watch a video on how to bleed your, uh, were they Zoom? Nah, she'll be right. Are they, they're probably Shimano-esque. Yeah, they've got oil in there. And now, oddly enough, you're going down in rotor size as well. Am I? Yeah, you have. Oh. You have 180 mil rotors while I'm rocking the two hundos. I wouldn't want to make it too easy on me, eh? Well, you are going to save some weight. Yeah, very true. And you're the one saying, you know, if you're consistently braking, maybe you don't <laughs> want the most powerful grabbers. Yeah, no, that's, you got me there. <laughs> it's in there. Look at this, new adapter, new Jason. Now, Magura is nice enough to send a handful of cable here, so we are gonna be laughing. So many bar spins. So many. Oh my God. That is, I'm just damaging the hose trying to get it out. I'm gonna make it more. Make it more cylindrical. There we go. Beautiful, you'd never know. So, this adapter is from Shimano. The rotor is obviously from Magura. Obviously, the two companies don't usually talk to each other when they come to designing. No! <laughs> oh, there it is. When they come to designing these parts. So, I'm glad it has fit together with some elbow grease. But I'm not surprised there was difficulties. Let's go back on. Right. Internal routing is dead. Long live external routing. Wait, you're not gonna do it? No. Cut back to the beginning. Cut to the intro. <laughs> Dude, I want to. This, I can't get that insert out. The compression. Thing. Really? Yeah, I mean, it's, I was I'm doing, a, doing my bestest. Let it be forever known that Henry is now a fan of external routing. External routing is great. I love how messy it looks. That's my favorite thing. I love how it makes a $6,000 bicycle look like a, like a weed whacker. I think that's a really nice touch. Go external rooting. Mm. I like cable ties, I like tape. Mm. Ain't pretty, so that's one down. It will be pretty though. But, wouldn't want to be any shorter, eh? <laughs> Luckily it's not an XL frame. Now, my rear hub is a six bolt standard, so 
No adapter faff here. I can put the rotor straight on, which is lovely. Oh, nothing like a fresh set of rotors. Now, Henry, your rotors look, kind of look like mine. They're two piece. Oh yeah. They're two piece, mine are two piece. That's craftsmanship there. This is great. They, the cables, they come are so short. They already come pre-cut the length. That's, that's what you're paying for with the Maguras. Look how much cable. That's like $200 worth of cable, just there. And Fabio signed by him. <laughs> yeah. But short hoses from factory. Mate, the savings speak for themselves. Mm-hmm. I told, Henry, I think I told you, I, I tried to look up uh, some more information on your brakes since we ordered them. And the, uh, the Amazon listing has been taken down. Yeah, odd that. <laughs> the whole thing has been rather seamless. How are you getting on, Jace? Uh, actually pretty good. Yeah. I can, uh, I'm just experimenting with our thousands of caliper bolts we have. I really want to set this one up nice, you know? The I already had, a, I already had a crappy caliper set up. Yeah. <laughs> really pops. Be all right. I really hope you have to bleed your brakes. Nah, man. Have you squeezed them? Do they work? They are punchy. You got reach adjust? Oh, mate, these are going to be great. You do have reach, which is yeah. crazy. This things are coming up Millhouse. <laughs> I think I'm pretty much done. My God. Just got to put it on. There is something to be said, I think, for all these budget installs. You've yeah. beaten me, other than the drivetrain. But I had a pretty unfair advantage on that one. And so just... now we're going to blindly go, or hopefully... <laughs> Some cables have gone before. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the dual window on these frames, actually. Yeah, it's great, man. Because I think I can punch it through. Beautiful. A little nervy. But I think, it'll, I reckon it's only going to get better. It's going to keep on pumping up. Oh, baby. Henry, look at that. Look at that. Like a dream. Like a dream. He has done it. See, the internal routing's not that bad. Oh. Then we bleed. Pop, 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 pop. Jesus. Okay. Who would have thought? Taken out by a zip tie. The whole thing. This is harder than the internal routing. More oil's coming out than it's going in. I'm at a net loss of oil currently. <laughs> Let's just wait for things. <laughs> Moment of truth. Oh, it was the front brake he cut, what an idiot. Look at that. These brakes feel better than the previous brakes. That's what I think. Like feel wise, those other brakes were not great. I am, um, my cable routing's cleaner in some ways. If this wasn't here, I mean, here's a question, right? Let's see. This doesn't really work very well. Dude. Yeah. It feels nice. Compression nut. All right, Jace, well, I'll see you on the trails, bud. <laughs> no, but I'm thinking, so this saddle is really annoying, right? It doesn't really work how I ever want it to. So why don't, oh, I'm a genius. Mm. Cut that. We'll just get rid of all of this junk. Oh, this is such a good idea. What are you doing? Mate, wait, just wait until you see it. Are you just uninstalling your dropper? I am, <laughs> yeah. Basically, I've got this dropper that's like a static seat post. <laughs> yeah, this is great. X up. Perfect. Now let's do the front one. You're, you're gonna to wanna to have this on your bike. You're over there playing 4D chess and I'm here playing tic-tac-toe. <laughs> Obviously we're super lucky in our job that we get to ride some pretty amazing bikes, right? You can get me like the latest and greatest bike with all this electronic shifting and suspension even. Not as excited as I am right now. So that wants to go just there like so. 
the toilet flush method. Yes. It's gonna cut that off. Okay, so let's come out on the trail. I just pull the toilet chain and down she goes. And she stays down. And then I pull the toilet chain when I'm pedaling along. <laughs> yes! Look how neat my front end looks. So we're getting close. Um, you know, these rotors have been shipped to us. So in shipping, a lot of stuff can happen and there is a bend in them. So we're just gonna get that out. But I think we're gonna be pretty close after that. And it doesn't take much force. So the nice thing about Henry's bike is he didn't have to cut any cables, internally route any brakes. So he's already enjoying a nice pizza pizza. Whereas I am still here. Oh yeah, we can live with that. That'll burn off. All right, Henry, we've put on our brakes. Let's head to our special test track for yeah. today. I think we should measure the performance somehow. What do you think? Absolutely. I think a good measure of a brakes performance is seeing how long you can do controlled braking over a set period. Okay. So whoever can do it the slowest is gonna, should have the most braking power and modulation. What do you reckon? Yeah, I like that. So dropping in to the end point, you want the slowest time. Yeah, okay. basically. That's gonna not only factor in how much power we can exert on our wheels, but also how comfortable we are slowing them down. Because if we're just locking up and we're gaining speed, that's gonna be a bad thing. Mm, for sure. Okay, well, I think it just started raining, so that means it's time to head up to the trails and see how well our brakes work. Oh, Jesus wept. <laughs> oh, heavens. And it's just started raining, so... It's quite... Oh. It's just, it's quite a... Quite a large distance it goes on for, hey. This isn't for... I've never seen this before. I've never been here before. And it is quite... It's a big slab. It's a big slab. It's a big slab. But I've got my... My zoom brakes. I'm glad I'm not on the mic bears. Jesus. Well. Yeah, I think that'll help. Yeah. What are you looking for on something like this where you're braking probably for 20 to 30 seconds, like mm. sustained. I think what you don't want is that migrating bike point, it coming back in, then you have to reset your, your boundary by coming back out. Yeah. I think um, lots of modulation. So power often means that the brake could potentially lock right. too much power instantaneously. You want modulation, so you want that power to be deliverable. Right. Now that is obviously down to the brakes, it's down to the rotor size. But actually it's a lot of it is down to how much grip you're generating either via your tires or via your body position. So lots of combinations. Right. All right, well, what do you say? Uh, go back up a bit and, and ride roll on into hand. it. Yep, let's do it. Okay. Look at that power. Now it does get steeper here. So we are going to crawl and just see how well the brakes work. Seems good. Lots of front brake. Oh, and now it's slippery, that's nice. And then this part is pretty much, you're gonna slide a lot. That's full brake. That was just, I couldn't slow down my front brake. But that was, that was me doing full brake. That was kind of scary. Like, there's just no power on the front. Like, that was me doing as hard as I could and it just wouldn't lock. And I was just like, that ain't right. That's, that scared me a bit, man. I thought I was going. <laughs> like, genuinely, like I was pulling it as hard as I could, thinking like, why isn't this locking? Hmm. But that's, that, this bit's less steep. So I might just go in from here. Could you see the fear in my eyes? Right, for God's sake. Even this is 
It's the easy way around, but I'm actually a bit nervous. Well, there's nothing compared to that, I guess. I am scared. <laughs> I forgot to turn in. I just forgot. <laughs> Dude, like it's just so horrible because like I'm pulling as hard as I can. And although I'm not going fast, like to have the confidence to be able to go fast, you've got to know you can go slow, right? I didn't have any confidence at any point I was going to slow down if I got speed. And so I was just like, oh man, that was horrible. In and out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I'm going slower because I can use my brakes. Oh no, 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 no. Jesus Christ. Oh, Fabio. Just lovely. Where should I go? I have time to think. Oh yeah. Slow it down. Look at that. Just, oh, it's beautiful. So we've made it back after the ride in one piece, which may I add, wasn't looking likely at one point. How did you get on Jason? And how were the rather nice, expensive brakes? Yeah, honestly, that was a lovely ride for myself. Um, I think in an out burger, that rock always gets the heart going. It's long, it's steep, it's very sustained. Once you're on it, you can't get off until you get to the bottom as you, as you know. Yeah. So um, I'm also riding a bike I'm not really familiar with and yeah. on brakes that I've never ridden before. So. Uh, honestly, I'm stoked on how they performed. It was easy to modulate, had tons of power. Uh, Henry, the story might not have been the same for you. I can't remember well, what happened though. I remember what? watching you ride thinking, how is he, he's going so slow down that. Yeah. Like in all the right ways. Yeah. But I, mean, I was going f like, as hard as I could. And just, it was, it was actually, it was pretty scary, man. Yeah, it was scary to watch. <laughs> So, okay, that was the riding portion. What about the install? Because you had a pretty easy time. You are done well before me. Yeah, well, these brakes, I didn't cut these hoses. They came perfect length, which is lucky. If we want an XL or like a bike for even like longer chain stays or a longer, uh, longer tubes, it would have been no dice. Yeah. However, there were some foibles. For instance, the compression fitting, I think has basically changed the shape of the metal that it was, it was fitting into. And so now you cannot get these hoses out. So it's so a good job they were the right size. And if you ever want to change the hose no. or, no, okay. No, that, that's, I mean, it's also really lucky, you know, like that these brakes, funnily enough, came right hand front, left oh. hand rear. Really? But yeah, but if they hadn't, like you can't change the- You just had to run the levers upside It's down. completely forced in there. Oh and it's not, like I was really pulling it, it's not coming out. Well, how, how about yourself? I mean, can I just say how beautiful the front of my bike is? And I think I made a nice, even without, wireless anything apart from a toilet flush seat post look how neat my bike is though yeah uh, to be fair i think you clean up the cockpit nicely it is presentable you mm. can take it to a nice family dinner at oh, this point yeah mine i definitely have the cables a bit longer uh, a bit i might longer. do some x ups in the future <laughs> i don't know what could happen on this bike anything really uh the install for me nothing was hard i think there was some fitting issues here and there mm -hmm. um but when you do the internal cable routing and you do get uh, usually a nice set of brakes you are going to have to cut the cables no matter what they make yeah. them so they fit every bike so it's a timely thing but once you do everything man i, I bled them and straight away they feel they feel awesome like yeah. so good and so was there anything when you're riding thinking i wish my brakes did this one thing because i've got a whole list on mine do you have any on yours i wish these particular brakes had pad contact adjust. Mm. And all they have is, is a reach adjust for the lever, which is great. I, I honestly, if there wasn't that, then that would be really annoying. Mm. Um, and like I said, maybe earlier on, we could have splashed out harder on brakes, but there is a part shortage going on in the world. Those are one of the features that um, high-end brakes usually have, and, mm. these, and these don't, I, I, it's not like they're unrideable, but I wish, I wish <laughs> they did have them. Yeah, yeah. So going forward, would you budget or would you ball? I feel like it's a foregone conclusion at this mm. point, Henry. To me, it's not even about performance, it's about safety. Safety doesn't take a day off. And it's definitely <laughs> not somewhere where I want to save money. Yeah. I'm splashing out on the brakes. I would spend more, honestly, on, mm -hmm. a, on, a, on a set of brakes. I, I want them to perform. Now, what about you? 
No, I'm definitely going for the nice brakes. In fact, a bike with good brakes and good suspension is a pretty good thing to have, especially when it comes to basically surviving or not, you know? No, absolutely. And like I said, it's a safety thing, which you mentioned the next episode. That brings me to my next point. We have one more episode left. We are going back out to hybrid. We're doing another round of time testing. Henry's got some brakes that don't slow him down as much. So maybe you might be faster. I, I think I'm gonna go faster. Like mandatorily faster. Awesome. Well, I can't wait. I got, I have literally nothing to complain about anymore. I'm at over $10,000 in upgrades. I think you're at $1,000 in upgrades. So That's pretty good. The scales aren't exactly some, equal. Some sideways grades. Not all upgrades, it's got to be said. Well, we'll talk about it next episode. Stay tuned for one more episode of Budget vs. Baller and make sure you subscribe.